Here is my Lego truck camper from my latest custom build. This took a few weeks to put together and it does sit on top of the red pickup truck. I do have a tutorial for this truck. I'll have it posted in the description below. So here we have the stabilizer leveling jacks. I'm not sure what these are called. We've got our hookups and a cabinet for storage. It doesn't have anything in it so you can put a propane tank in there. Here's the rear rear entry of course. So this door does open up. We'll take a look at the interior in a bit. Got our handle and a light. This side we got an exhaust for our stove hood. Now this is sitting directly on this pickup truck. Real easy to remove. So I just Simply grab the camper shield and pull this off. Let's move the truck out of the way. So the camper can sit on these, but I also do have a stand that folds out at the bottom as well. I got a 2x3 brick to attach it to the bed. So here's the bed. That's what these jumper plates were for, is to anchor down various accessories. So here we have our camper shell. This is what it looks like underneath, of course. It's a nice, very sturdy build. It's somewhat playable. Now here's the top. This does remove. It's a bit of a challenge to get this off. It's a nice, tight fit. So here's the top with the air conditioner and a sunroof. Here's the interior. So it does consist of various rooms and such. So here we have our entry. The dinette booth, little kitchenette, small bathroom, and a place to sleep. Let's take a closer look. Here's the dinette booth. It does seat up to two mini figures. Here we have Jay the Surfer. He does slip in. Really nice. Yeah, it's a bit of a tight fit. Here we have the small galley kitchen. So here we have our stove and oven, range hood, some cabinets. This down here, I'm going to pretend that this is a fridge. And here's our small little sink. I even did put a little TV in as well. Now here we got a door that leads into the bathroom. Let's open that up. And the bathroom consists of just a toilet and a shower head. Yes, the shower and the toilet are usually combined, as well as a small sink, but I didn't have enough room to put a sink in there, and Jay just took a topple. Now, this bathroom is just mainly for looks. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge to get a minifigure in here, so I can't even get him to fit inside. So that's about as close as he'll get. It's the first attempt for this trailer. Here we have a little ladder that takes you up into the sleeping area. I have it look like we have two sleeping bags. And I have managed to fit two minifigures inside side by side. Now that's a bit of a tight squeeze. So I did use some of the 1x2x2 wall elements to give a little extra clearance. Obviously, doing this one hand is a bit of a chore. That's how it is. So you can possibly fit another minifigure in here as well. So if Jay wants to slide over, you can possibly fit two figures in there. I've been in one of these and they're not very spacious. For this being my first attempt, it looks really nice. Putting the top back on is pretty simple. Just your basic plate construction. I just tuck this in like that and set it down. And that's pretty much about it. So this is going to be like version one. Now if I want to put this back in the vehicle, I just fold up the stand 
and set it back down on top of the jumper plates. Pretty cool. Now it does look like it's a bit long, but I have seen these hang over quite a ways. But it is a nice truck camper for being version one. <laughs>